friends, it's Miss Piggy. I hope you all are doing well today. Welcome back to our art series called Stick Together, where we stick together and make stickers together. So each week we combine two concepts to create a sticker. So before I introduce the concept of the day, I do wanna go over some of the things that we might need today, which is blank paper or any kind of paper that you have. You'll need some art making tools such as markers. It could be a Sharpie, a pen, a pencil, crayons, colored pencils. Today I'm gonna to be exploring with some chalk. And you'll need some scissors for cutting. And once again, friends, our clear tape to stickerify it. Okay, so before we get started, let's go over our values, which is once again, you already know, respect yourself, respect the art, and respect the space. Are you ready to hear our concepts of the day? Okie dokie. Dreams and stars, there you go. So today we're gonna be creating a sticker combining these two concepts, dreams and stars. So, while we are here, I'd like you to take time and think about your dreams. It could be literally what you dream about at night, or it could be maybe something that you just dream about, even when you're awake. Like I tend to dream about cheese all day long, so I'm not sure if there's something that you dream about all day long. Um, maybe there's some dreams that you have for the future. So what are some dreams that you might have? I want you to take some time to think about that. And once you figure out maybe some dreams that you'd like to create in an art piece, we'll get started, okay? So I'm gonna think about some of my dreams. Yeah, you already know, I already said it, cheese, okay? So cheese. I will be creating cheese dreams today and I'll be combining that with stars. So whatever it is that you're dreaming about, maybe you'd like to create your art piece using certain symbols. Maybe you'd like to write it out. This is all up to you as far as your artistic take. So it really is about just implementing your own style and your own expression with it. So for me, I'm just gonna start with drawing I'm gonna draw a star. And friends, there are so many ways to draw things. So you could literally draw freehand drawing, or you can trace, it's up to you. I'm using this Sharpie to create a really rough sketch. And from there, once again, I'm gonna refine my lines. So once again, it's up to you on the size that you wanna create, depending on where you're gonna stick your art or stick your sticker. So just keep those ideas in mind as you create your art. I mean, there's also ways where you could trace objects using your own laptop. Just lightly, carefully trace using Maybe a pencil would be safer, a colored pencil. Maybe there's literal objects that you have in certain shapes. You could trace that. Remember, there are no mistakes in art, friends. So always feel free to adapt and just embrace the process. Always transform your art. Have you ever seen impossible things in your dreams? Like maybe you could fly in your dream? <laughs> so, sometimes I feel like in my dreams, things aren't literal. There's organic shapes to things. So that's why I'm drawing this star in a very organic manner. Meaning it's not all the same angles. It's not all the same sizes. 
but it's more of like a mysterious star. I'm just adding thickness once again by creating lines around and around the perimeter of my star. And maybe you have a different way of creating. Maybe you're starting with drawing your objects, your dreams. Remember, while you are drawing and creating your art, I would like you to think about some places you might want to stick your stickers, or if you already have a collection that you've been starting, this is about the fourth week, so I'm really curious as to where you all are displaying your artwork for this series. my outline. I might add some details around it. We'll see. Yeah, why not? So I'm just going to add some lines to kind of show movement. So within the indents, I'm going to be adding like lines just to kind of symbolize action and movement. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a cheese pattern within my star. And I'm going to start by outlining it with a black sharpie. And eventually, I'm going to see where I'd like to take it after I create this cheese pattern. I'm just going to put various circles and they're not going to be the same size. They're kind of sporadic. What are some things you dream about? Curious. Donuts. Oh, another thing I dream about is actually chips. If you don't remember, um, I love Doritos. It's my favorite. I know last time we were in person, which was a while ago, maybe some of you might remember, we talked a lot about the flaming hot Doritos that had came out before the pandemic. <laughs> One thing that hasn't changed is my love for flaming hot Doritos.
you know what? Um, so this is what I have so far with my cheese pattern. But you know, my favorite part of cheese is when it melts. So I think I'm gonna add some cheese drops or cheese drips from my star just to indicate the melting cheese. Where's my cheese drops, my melted cheese? This is exciting, friends. I hope you're having fun as well. I think I'm going to start with some markers, so Just some orange here Once again, you could create a color palette somewhere on your page Let's get some orange and some gray colors together. And what I'm going to do is find areas where I might want to just outline maybe um, around the inner perimeter of the star. And I'm just going to follow that line. with a slight outline but inside the circle I'm not gonna go all the way it just adds more dimension and I'll show you in a second I'm not going to outline the whole thing. Maybe just like half of it. And so then I'll show you here. So it adds a little bit of dimension. Well, this is my gray marker. Um, I think I'm just gonna go in with an outline around the outer part of my star outline. I'm choosing gray because it kind of reminds me of nighttime or like a night sky. I'm gonna go around these melted drops as well. And 
that I'm using. The edge, just to get the whitest as possible marker width that I can without having to constantly create lines and perimeter. going to be adding some chalk. I'm going to also make a chalk color palette just to see and test out. I'm going to use the edge of my chalk, flat edge, and just apply pressure down and just see what kind of colors I can make. You can test blending as well if you like. That's if you're using chalk. I'm going to see what this gray might look like. blend. Here's my chalk colored palette right there. Cool. So I'm just gonna probably layer some colors. So I'm gonna start with yellow and I'm just gonna gently fill in this star. Same thing with this melted cheese. I'm just gonna do a quick dab of some yellow. And from here, I'm just gonna take my finger and blend. And I'm gonna blend it until my chalk is flat. Meaning there won't be any bumps. Smooth it out. So I'm applying pressure to my paper. From here, you just dust it up. Pat. And there's that. Now I might want to add some gray. And this, I'm just going to use the tip of the chalk. To create an outline of chalk on my gray outline. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just lightly over. So that's with the chalk, and I'm gonna blend that. pressure onto the paper and making sure it's all pressed and so it's smooth. Once again, don't worry if you are outside of your lines. You can always cut around it or even leave a, a blurred line. It's up to you. So you create shading. Alright, so that's what my sticker in the making is looking like so far. Here, I think what I'm going to do is actually just add a little bit of white outline on some of the parts of my star. Once again, to just Add dimension. Awesome. 
out. And there's that. And I think I'm going to once again take my black sharpie and just one more time go over. I'm adding this layer, this refining layer. And I'm going to show you the difference because what it does is it makes the orange and yellows pop out. You can see that difference right there. But that last drop not refined yet. So that's why I'm choosing to add that. motions like any accent all right so friends I think I'm ready to stickerify my sticker okay now I'm ready to take my scissors and start cutting out my art piece so depending on how you want to cut your art piece out whether or not you want to Cut right on the outer line of your art, or if you want to create just a perimeter around it, maybe you want to do a general shape like a square, a circle, a heart, a star within a star, it's up to you. Today I'm just going to cut around the perimeter. I'm just going to take off some of my action accents that I'd added, but for me, I don't mind. Stickerify my sticker. So I'm gonna grab my tape once again. And remember, we're going to be taking a strip. I'm using my table. There are many different ways to do this once again. Just make sure that it's long enough to cover the height, okay? So you're gonna leave space on the outer edges so that you can stick your sticker down. So just gently place it on your sticker. Just a little bit. You don't have to put too much pressure on. Top and the bottom, you're going to carefully align your tape from top to bottom and gently press down and smoothen it out. For me, I can get 
one more strip and it should be covered. All right. So again, top and bottom. Make sure you line your tape flesh to the other strip. So you can overlap it as well. Here we're just gonna put a little bit of pressure, just smoothing it out. Once again, you could use a flat edge if you have one around. Okay. And from here, we're gonna use both our hands. We're gonna take the outer edges and the middle and kind of pull up slowly until they're aligned. And I'm gonna lift up the tape. when you begin to cut out a border around. So you want to create enough space around for it to stick onto the surface that you choose. So I'm just going to grab my scissors and start cutting away. It doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as it can stick to the surface that you are choosing. Okay, friends, so I'm ready to stick my dreams and stars sticker on my clipboard. Once again, you feel free to overlap if you need to. Um, it really is up to you. I actually like how Cool thing about this is I can actually overlap it as it's sticking out on the edge. I like that. And all I'm gonna do is put pressure to make sure it folds to the other side of my clipboard. That way it kind of creates a cropped look where the whole star is not on the clipboard. I like that. It's fun for me. So from here, friends, once again, just apply pressure as needed. Get all those colors to stand out. You can use your nail, you can use a flat edge of some sort. Whatever works for you. You want to make sure all those colors pop through and that your sticker is secured onto your surface. All right, friends. I hope you all had fun today. Take care and be well.